Guys, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. Rocks on rocks on rocks. Hey, my name is Benj Meeks, AKA Garden Guy. And today we're putting in some rocks. Now I'll tell you what, rocks rock. They're awesome. And when you install rocks into your landscape, you're gonna, you, you, it really makes the landscape pop because I mean, all of us enjoy the beautiful uh, nature outside, you know, going walking in, in the woods. And usually there's stones that, that make that landscape pop. So why not bring the stones into our landscapes around our house to make our landscape pop? So what I'm installing today is stones that are about this big right here. Eight, eight to, to 10 inches, maybe 12 inches tall. But I gotta, gotta select what I want and put them in here. We got the ones we want. Flat stones are really great for stacking, but these ones are the more like small boulders, and I'm just laying them in one at a time. They're not, they're not, no need to stack those as long as I get them close enough to where I can put it backfill with soil, I'll be fine. So I'm not too worried about the shape. Uh, it is nice to have one flat side, but for now we're good. I can just dig it down to where it lays nice and good in there. And I'll show you how you do that in one second. Let me go get those stones. I had to take the trailer off because for him to get in here, he's got to come right up in here and push it in. I'm going to move those things up front. But I'm trying to put the stones in here so I can have the trailer back there for uh, the wood chips. So I'll show you what I'm doing over there with the wood chips to make a new bed. But that's our pallet right there. Actually, the one above it. All right, then folks, we're here on site. And the goal here is we have this tree here we're gonna bring that that uh light is, is coming out we're gonna come out from the tree looks like about five feet right about here and we're gonna cut down a base coming around it's like a half half circle almost i'm um, coming around we want it to fan out just a tad but for the most part it's staying the same radius from the tree and then yeah and then bet will backfill with soil so it'll just since we already are working with a slope see that slope right there it's coming down we're going to put these larger rocks down here and it'll make a level a leveled out area this is something that you can do around your house if you have a problem with roots coming up now these aren't too bad but if you have a bunch of roots coming up just make a bed around your your tree as far as you need to to get to get it to where those roots are not you know bumpy for the mowing over them so and really i'm not going to worry about cutting this grass out because it's good fescue so fescue is easy to smother i'll just bring in this good compost right here i already have you can tell i'm, lo I'm loaded down see those tires so this is good decomposed wood chip compost look at that and that's what you talk about. Awesome. Smells good. Mmm. Yeah. So here's the rocks. We already got, as you know. So we'll pull those out. See what we got to work with. I like to pull out everything and put them around my project. You kind of see the puzzle pieces, and then put in your put in put them in to where it's beautiful, and then really set them in after that. But it's a beautiful day, everybody. So awesome. This thing. Got the first seed laid here, and I wanted to show you. A lot of times, these larger stones are just they all different shapes. So this one's a little wiggly. I try to try to get them. See how this one's got this angle coming down. Try to get it to where they fit in, like like puzzle pieces. So push that up. It's a little wiggly, so I'm thinking I put this. Under there, I don't want the small one to show, but it may not work. See, that's just what you got to do. You got to work with it, and you got to see what what works. Kind of like puzzle pieces. Oh yeah, work. Just work with it. Ta da! There you go, folks. Put it in. It's all shored up on the edge, and the pressure when we put. I do like to put little rucks on the sides here, especially ones that could tip. Put that in there and it'll it'll settle down, but I'm trying to put them all in to where they're leaning in slightly, leaning into the bed, especially since I have this slope here. 
leaning in so that when I put the soil in there, the pressure on the back will push it out and it'll, it'll firm it up. So you'll see all the back here. And I went ahead and put that right there just to make sure those are strong. Those are pretty big ones. All right, now we'll get some compost and put it in there. Just wanted to show you guys this. Look at all these worms. Worm, 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 worm. Worm, worm, worm. This is awesome. Shows you this compost. This is doing good. All right. Got some good soil here. Compost, really. I'm gonna make it pretty high because it's gonna decompose more. Worms in there. It's always good. Big time. I'm gonna go get my rake. All right. It's coming together, folks. Spreading out the last little bit here. Trying to get it to where it's fairly level coming across. Looks like this spilled over. Put it up there. Yeah. And this will decompose. Look at that. Another worm. This will decompose more and sink down. And then but we'll just continue to add mulch or soil. Whatever is needed. But I like to put in a good amount of organic matter the first time around. So that that really feeds the soil every year for years to come. Cool. All right. All right, all right, all right. Looking good, everybody. All right, I think we're pretty much good. Now, I did the, I did it about four or five inches right here. And that should kill off the fescue grass here. Now, if you had Bermuda grass, that'd be different. Or another type of grass that tends to spread by rhizomes or stolons under, under the surface. Just firming this up so that when the mowers come by, they don't uh, weed eat it everywhere. All right, there we go. Now I noticed I didn't really cut in anything. I didn't, didn't go super deep. I just stacked them on the ground. You can if you want to get it all very, very perfectly level you can cut into the ground and level those up to where they're going to be level but I think this looks good it, it has a good flow turns out nice cool cool all right folks thanks for watching this one it was fun times I'll catch you later super good times stay tuned for more garden guy fun stuff most of the time I do edibles and I've, I have done some edibles for, for this client. Super fun. All right. It's later, folks. I'll do a last little panorama view of this thing. And we'll go from there. Catch you later. See ya.